In the last video, you learned how to tag selection ranges as favorites and edit clips into the timeline. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at trimming clips in your timeline to improve the story pacing. We often think of trimming as removing something, like trimming a hedge. But in editing, the term can also refer to adding something, like trimming a Christmas tree by adding ornaments. We're going to shorten and or lengthen our clips in the timeline as the story dictates. For example, skimming over the Mitch open hanger clip, it would be better if we saw the nose of the aircraft after Mitch slides open the door. Click to select the right side of the clip, often called the tail of a clip. A yellow bracket tells you it's selected. Drag to the right while watching the viewer. In this instance, we're adding frames to the clip, making it longer. A tooltip appears under your pointer showing you how many frames you're adding as well as the adjusted clip duration. Drag until you see the nose of the helicopter in the viewer, then release the mouse. Let's move to the next clip. If we skim over the liftoff clip, it's a bit too long. We don't need to see the helicopter leave the frame completely. Skim to the frame where we still see the skids of the aircraft. Then click in the gray area above the clip to move the playhead to the skimmer position. Click and drag the tail of the liftoff clip until it snaps to the playhead. Skim a bit before the edit, then press the space bar to play back. But I think the love of flight... Uh... That edit works much better. Let's undo that last step by pressing Command Z. Let's look at an even faster way to perform the edit. Skim back over the tail of the clip and set your playhead at the same frame as before. From the Trim menu, choose Trim End or press Option Right Bracket. The tail of the clip is instantly trimmed to the playhead position. If we listen to the beginning of the interview clip, we can hear Mitch say, uh, to connect his thoughts. But I think the love of flight uh, really began at a very young age. Let's remove this. Zoom in by pressing Command Plus so you can better see the audio waveform. From the Edit Tools pop-up, select the Range Selection tool. Then drag out a range over that section. Began at a very young age. Uh, really began at, uh... To remove it, press the delete key and play back. But I think the love of flight really began at a very young age. Nobody... His delivery is much cleaner, but because we also removed video along with the audio, he appears to jump slightly, which is why this edit is often called a jump cut. Let's hide this edit with another clip. From the Tools menu, choose the Selection tool or press A on your keyboard. Press the up arrow key to move your playhead to the beginning of the interview clip. In the Media Browser, locate the H5 Cabin clip. Drag out a selection, and as you drag, a tooltip appears showing you the duration of your selection. Drag until the tooltip reads 2 seconds. We want to use the video portion of this clip, but not the audio. In the toolbar, select the Edit Mode drop-down and choose Video Only. Then click the Connect Edit button to connect only the video portion to your timeline. Press the Home key and play back what you've edited so far. But I think the love of flight really began at a very young age. Nobody in my family really wanted to fly. It was just something I looked at the sky one time and thought, wow, that must be incredible to be able to see what they're seeing from the air. So the love of flight started really early for me. Excellent. In the next lesson, we'll begin working with our soundtrack.